<laughs> she, she deleted it. And then the next question is, okay, well, we can start this question with you. I'll start over here. So this question is, if you found out that your daughter had an OnlyFans and she's 20 years old, or she told you that she wants one, let's just go with that. You found out that she had an OnlyFans. Had or has like like currently like she has one okay. has one how would that make you feel and like what what would you do if my daughter was twenty and she already has one at that point she's already an adult she can make her own decisions I just if she wants to have one and she says mom you know I want to have an only what would you tell her it's still twenty she's twenty yeah um. Same thing. You're an adult. You can make your own decisions. You can do what you want. Pretty much, you be safe about it. Don't don't do anything stupid. You don't do anything I, stupid. I can tell on... her no, and low key should go and make one anyways. Okay. Um. All right. So, if your daughter said, you know, mom, uh, I want to, you know, rob a bank. What would you tell her? You gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm, you're 20 years old. I can't really tell you no, because if you want to do it, you'll do it anyway. You know what I mean? So, what would you do in that situation if she said she wanted to rob a bank? I mean, obviously, don't do it. Okay, so now the question is, what makes you say no to robbing a bank instantly, but you don't say no to only f instantly? Robbing a bank obviously is illegal. There's a possibility of death uh, or jail time. Okay. Now, you were good to think about the cons of robbing a bank. What's the cons of doing offense? Obviously, she's putting her body out there. Any more cons? <laughs> judgment. The judgment, yeah. Anything else? Ladies, don't help because I'm coming around to you next. <laughs> no, it's. She's putting her body. Just speaking to Mike a little bit more for me too. Um, yeah, she's putting her body out there. There's gonna be judgment. Um, yeah. Okay, and you can't think of any more cons. I got some for you. I have one. I got you too. I'm gonna go around. Keep y'all's because mm -hmm. we're gonna go around and speak about this deeply. All right. So for robbing a bank, you instantly thought, oh, jail time, possibly death. You know, robbing a bank, you can get. Like, who knows what can happen? Like, you're thinking of all of these cons, right? To only th she ruins her family's name and she ruins her name, right? Your daughter is officially a whore. No one wants her, right? She ruined her name. All of your ancestors' name is trash, right? She ruined the ancestry Puerto Rican, right? Yeah. Get okay. So, no. No. It's not. What's get okay? Is Dominican? That's, that's, God dang. What's, what the Puerto Ricans do? I don't know. Mira? What y'all be saying? Mira! Mira! No. Mira! Okay, Mira! My bad. <laughs> okay, Mira! So she ruins the family's name. Uh, the other thing that happens is she decreases her value as a woman in a man's eyes and also in society's eyes. So a woman is born with her value. Her main job is to retain her value and maintain her value. And she does that by, you know taking the proper actions um also with i think you said it too you said that um uh one of the things is that she's putting her body out there for judgment mm. so that's that's a huge thing but all of those are i mean those are not fatal things like robbery but those are still things that can mess up the mental for sure yeah make sense yeah okay fair enough all right whatever um same question for you if you found out your daughter let's just go once if you found out your daughter once and only what you telling her? She a grown woman. She a grown I'm woman. I'm gonna say same the thing. same thing she said. You say She's the same a, thing. Same thing. I, she knows the consequences. You're 20 years old. Get ready for what society's gonna hit you with. If you're ready for that, that's what you want. Go ahead, and make your money. Go ahead, and make the money. As mm -hmm. long as it's not under my roof, I don't care. But what if it was under your? If roof? If it's under my roof, then it's a no. Okay, okay. But if she's not under your roof, if it's not then under do what my you roof, want. then I don't care. And you wouldn't. Okay, fair enough. And what about you? Um, see, I just recently deleted mine, so who am I to tell her she can't have one? You can still tell her she can't have one. That don't mean nothing. Yeah. I mean, and it's also, I would ask, I would be um, asking questions like, well, what kind of contact? Because it doesn't just have to be, like, explicit. That is true. She could be fucking. Yeah, like, sorry. you got to think be, about um, the logic. Doing fitness, like if showing her plants. If I went to jail before for, you know, um, 
you know, uh, uh, still no, uh, murder because it's through, I was drunk driving. Mm-hmm. You know, DUI and I, you know, hit someone and they, you know, they, someone passed away. I would encourage my kid not to drink and drive because I know what can happen if you do do those things. Like you get what I'm saying? So I think as a parent, when you have a daughter, even if you were doing it too, I think then you, you have even more, you have experience, like you know what it is. So it's like, yeah, baby girl, definitely don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you could definitely, if you experience something I mean, that definitely gives you the right to be like, I've been through it. Don't do it. Um, I, understand. I don't know about the, you don't like the it? right. No, because I mean, again, everyone makes their own choices in life. So but, I can give her that opinion. Yeah, I can tell her it's hard. Well, my question is, stuff. what but at the end would of the day, you give her the opinion, it. though? Yeah, I would give her the opinion. I'll let her know how I felt when I had it and the things people said to me and things. But at the end of the day, if that's what she chooses to do, I would fully support her. Got it. And what about you? If she wants one. Yeah, if she wants one. That's a no for me. No for you. I don't care if you're in my house or not. That's a no for me. Okay. So you gonna what you like if she came up and said I what mean, you gonna say to her? I don't know. I don't <laughs> I don't play those games. Like I no, it's just not a good look. It's just going to okay. ruin her for the rest of her life. She's going to regret it later. And just, I don't have any experience in that, but there's a reason for that. It's just, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I would tell her, but I would just pray to God that she would just listen and just not do it. I'd probably just ask her, what would it take for you not to do it? Because whatever that is, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. So you, you're going to go to the extreme so she doesn't do it. Yeah. Okay, Whatever fair it enough. Whatever it takes, because, you know. All right, chat. Uh, everybody on Facebook, come on over to YouTube. We're going to close down a Facebook stream now because um, the convo is getting a little too spicy since we're talking about OF. Uh, so come on <laughs> over to uh, YouTube. We're closing down a Facebook stream right now. That's No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. We're live. Um, okay, and let's go with you. Um, For me, if she said that she wanted to, probably at first I would ask why. But then, you know, I'll just let her know, you know, that this is something real and that the Internet is forever. But if that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. Okay, so the advice would be, you said probably no? No, 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 no. At first I would ask why, because, like, why? I just know why I feel the ways that I do and want to do the things I want to do. So it's like, did I low-key fail you as a mother? But... Um, you know, if that's just what you want to do and that's just like your prerogative, then that's fine and you can do that. But like, I would just want to make sure that she understands like all the reality of everything, basically. Okay. So, well, would you advise her not to do it or what? If she's 20 years old, then she, you're an adult and you can make your own decisions. I would never push my child to do anything. I would give my advice and my knowledge of what I have, but I would never push my would child never to push. do anything as an adult. Got it. And what about yourself? Nah, no. definitely no. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah, no. at all. Yeah, no. And, and like, let's just say hypothetically, if it happened, you have any kids? No. Okay, hypothetically, your daughter came up, she's 20, what would you say? Honestly, the way I think is just more of like, that's going to hurt you in the future because like she said the internet's forever so they yeah. could no matter how deep and dark that secret could be they could still pull it up from god knows where and anybody knows that could either hurt you help you or do both so okay fair enough and what about you you could put your mic a little closer um <clears throat> excuse me um well i think it's about narrative really like if it's for if she's like honestly because i believe in art right Wait, narrative? Yeah, narrative. Like, if it's for a movie or something, like, if you're trying to explain something, but not that. No, not say, that. No, say for the we, movie. We no, not it's for. I no, mean, not it's for, that. It could be for multiple things, but the main thing. Like, oh, the for point no. of this is for, like, yeah. she's, she's no, going to be but, Okay, new. wait, but at the same time, though, you got to think about it. What if she's an artist? Though? Okay, what if my what daughter comes up? You no, not doing it, but like if she like for no, instance, I get you it. you trying to cut me down, but you're not letting me talk though. Yeah, let her finish. Um, like Greek art, you know what I'm saying? You go to a museum, you're gonna see naked bodies. If look, I'm an artist. I don't care what the f- 
parents got to sorry, what my parents got to say, because it's for the sake of art, it's for the sake of a story. If a story is being told, sure, no, I don't want my whole thing out there. But if it's like, you know, those scenes in a movie where it's like, you know, they're doing something. OK, I'd be like, girl. Yeah, because women's sensuality is sacred. People think that how a girl acts in bed is like nasty, then you got a problem. If like it is it's sacred, for, it's for sacred. Yeah, yeah sacred so storytelling. For you. If story it is telling. sacred. Yes, totally. Sacred is I don't, sacred like, and storytelling is two different things. No, so, any story is sacred. Whether it's down, bad, 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 bad is sacred. sacred means? Yes, I do, sir. Okay, what does I've sacred mean? I've seen dark things and seen how God flipped it. God no, be in I'm the asking darkness. you what does, maybe you're just using the wrong word and I'm not understanding you right. Okay, sorry. What does sacred mean? Okay, what sacred means, sorry, I'm Dominican, so I'd be getting pumped up. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> let me calm down. Um, sacred, what sacred means is holiness, right? So no matter what, you are protected. Like, you are, do you think God forsakes people's stories? Every story is sacred. Even a, even a, even a, it's like, why are they like that? Why? Nobody yeah. wants to see uh, why. And remember, the used grape oh, if you used the so hard sorry. word. All right, well, let's just have, get to the point of what I'm down. talking about. Yeah. I mean, how I use the, the sacred, you're using it wrong. Sacred means that it's like, you know, what are things that's, that's sacred that you keep? It's deeper than that, bro. Away from people. You no. keep it to yourself. It's sacred. You don't want other people to have it. Or if they do have it, you want the that's precious. A person that you value to have it. You precious. get what I'm saying? No, that's not precious. That's sacred. It has high importance and value to you. You don't think that's, that's the darkest I'm time that somebody's Mama, in listen, is, listen, the, listen. is the Stop. most sacred time? Stop. Because they're never going to forget that You're moment that was down bad. Don't I'm just do saying. that. You know the rules of the podcast. So once again, saying. we're just having a discussion. Sorry. Relax a little bit. It's okay. Sorry. It's, I mean, we're just talking. Nothing. Yeah, we're just talking. <laughs> we're not even speaking about you. This is a hypothetical. So it's just I get, I get pumped up for God. I got you. It's yeah, fine. It's a hypothetical. We're not speaking about you. We're in La La Land it. speaking about I get it. I'm a 20 year old a... daughter that's saying, hey, mommy, should I have a. Oh, it, so, it wouldn't be. Got would be, it. Like listen, I said, God, acting. listen, I'll break it down to you. Right. You, we just trying to understand what you're saying. You said sacred. That isn't the right word to use. Those who if know, your, know Earth if angels, your daughter is sacred four, four, four. to you and her body is sacred, your daughter's body is sacred. You don't want other people. You don't want the public viewing. What's so you sacred. think Frida Kahlo's uh, mom is mad at her? Unless she's a je jealous, I don't unless she's know jealous. What you're or Frida who you're Kahlo, about. she's an artist. She's a Hispanic Mexican artist, the one with the unibrow. Don't she's, know who that is. Okay, what does she do? It. We could go she, with the she's, combo. She's an artist, and she her art is very deep. She has. Does she? She's naked. She has her boobs out. herself. No, it's a story. It's like yeah, things happen to her. Like no, no, she no. has blood I, and I stuff. Got all you this. Real quick. Does she sexualize art. herself? It's not that you're doing no, no, it. Like answer no, the question. No. Okay. No. So the answer is no. If she has, if she's showing her body out, uh -huh. right? Whether if it's pain on it. Even showing cleavage, even where girls wear high heels, even uh, where girls wear makeup. Yeah. You know what makeup is and eyelashes and all of these other things. Mm -hmm. Why do girls put the red blush on their cheeks? Well, w how does a woman look when they're aroused and they're getting ready to have sex? Their cheeks blush up. Mm -hmm. So all of this is the sexualize the woman. Makeup, high heels, showing your cleavage, wearing the beauty. high skirts. Satan listen, try to mama, take it, though. Listen, mama. That is all sexual. So this person Ain't that you're speaking about. You had to get back up because girls listen, love to I'm look still good speaking. and it's holy. The person that you're speaking about. Sorry, because I go she come against She sexualizes herself. That's what I'm saying. So if you sexualize yourself and it's out to the public, it isn't sacred. <laughs> okay, so you think like. Before the streets. Not not like you out here just. <laughs> it is true. Hey, like just out there doing it to do it. Like if there's a story, if you're trying to help people make love or something, like you make yeah. clips where it's like, I'm like, that's where the father needs to let go. Let go. Your daughter is, parents need to learn how to let go. That's why a lot of your kids, a lot of parents are narcissistic. <laughs> first of all, a lot of parents are narcissistic. Okay, they sure. don't even mean it, but they are. You need to let go of your child and let them develop their story. Usually a lot of those women who sexualize themselves or It's not sexualized what I'm talking about. I stop saying that word though. It is sexualized. Who sexualize themselves. Okay. Or, or I like want to see this child. Post half naked stuff. Usually their father isn't in their lives. Wait, can I? I'm not talking not about all, doing all no, that though. But the majority oh, of the time. talking about acting. But no, but Actress. what we're specifically talking about is women who post naked That's on, different. On, on, on show, That's on, different. On OnlyFans That'd be for like, money. Bae, okay. That's what we're talking about. I'd be like, Bay. No. Look, that's if you're thinking about that, I I highly don't suggest to do that. 
Um, there we go. There we go. Yeah, no, because I'm ready. Because no, because I like to spit facts as much as possible because people get you it twisted. You were just saying something different though. But yeah, because that was about real stuff though. Because it was getting oh, twisted, but it was about real stuff. You. All right. So what's it? What's I the difference? I would advise her not to. That's okay. what I'm saying. Now I have a if question for that. Porn. So uh, what's the difference between? Uh, 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 Wait, time uh, out. Hold that real quick. Okay. You, what you just said, nothing makes sense. No, there's Stop two different things. Listen, because I want to make sure I understand you. Yes. The way you're speaking about sacred and women sexualizing themselves, you're speaking about, well, if it's art, if an actor is doing things, I'm listening to you very, like, very, very deep listening That's to you. Good. That's you're speaking good. like if an actor is doing things and she's acting and she, it's a sex scene or something like that. Well, that's not really sexualizing so That's art. That's something that's sacred. They're doing something sacred. If a woman paints her body in all paint and she's showing things, well, that's not really sexual. That's Thinking sacred. Garden. She, listen, oh, I want you to understand. I'm still mailing what, you are, still you are. Manning what you're sorry. saying. So so I'm you sorry. understand what I'm saying. So then what I'm going to say, I want you to listen. Yes, go. Got it. So you're saying all of these things that women, well, you know, as long as if she has an OnlyFans, but it's her art, right, then it's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm telling you that even if it's art, even if it's art, it's still sexualizing herself. Just get aroused. Just beat they meet off of hardly anything to regular pictures that y'all post on Instagram. It's sexualizing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So if anything your daughter does on the internet showing any type of sexuality, it is still sexualizing herself. So if she has an fans in the context of what we're speaking about, she would actually be, you know, showing news and maybe doing some sexual things on OnlyFans. Now you said no to it, but before, prior to this, it was a contradiction because you were saying, well, if it's art, I'm okay with it. Now, I'm saying that, let's say that your daughter comes to you and says, this is my art. This is something that I want to do. I think it's artistic for me to show my oh, she boobs. Framed no, it listen, like that. Oh. I think it's artistic for me to have five dudes rail me at the same time on fans. Mommy, it's no, an art. Yeah. I'm expressing myself. I'd be like, why Would are you, you doing this? Sacred? No. I'd be like, why exactly. are you doing it? So yeah, you're speaking in circles then. Oh. No, no, no. Do you understand <laughs> what, what I'm talking about? <laughs> Pause, because my only thing Nowhere near nothing well, like that. I, I, We're not talking I'm not about, talking about oh, I'm not But like, why yeah. I gotta be that but deep? I, but since you want to be yeah. got to it, it's not object for women. It's not always objectified. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to be God, men can easily objectify. Women don't. If you want to bring God into it, God doesn't want women being naked. Period. Whether women, you know, women because, hold sensuality. What okay, sensuality comes just, from women? Even, you know that? Even if society views it as art, if she's naked. If she just want to bring God into it, God doesn't view it as art if she's naked. What? The highest praise to God is a man, uh, the, the man and the woman having sex. That's where babies are made. That's okay, where having sex. To not, not walking around exposing yourself to the world no, naked. That's, that's what I'm talking no, about. No, but if you're telling, I'm talking about a movie. What do y'all not understand? Like, if, if it's that a too, movie, that too, like. That too, that still. Right? So you're mad at these actresses. I'm not mad at anybody. For telling a deep story, what not a want, stupid story. Okay, let's just be, let's just do hypothetical. Yes. Right? And then we got to. Move yeah. on. You got hold your question. <laughs> you got a daughter. She's twenty years old. Would you want her? To, which one you would you prefer? Mm -hmm. Only th of her having th with men, or if she's not having th with men, what were you doing on OnlyFans? Oh, your mic is this way. Oh, twisted. Sorry. Yes. Um, it was just pictures, twerking videos. Probably. Okay. Pictures, naked pictures, twerking videos on. OnlyFans. So let's just. They're not even gonna do the extreme. Let's do the minimum. Mm -hmm. So one of them is only. Th um, pictures twerking. and twerking. The other one is she's a lawyer. What would you prefer your daughter to, uh, to go? Which field? Well, <laughs> I think you're doctor. gonna get. I think you're gonna get mad with what I say, but I'm gonna try and keep it let's, very let's simple. Let's say a doctor. I would obviously want her not to be selling her body. There's a difference. Just pick one. Yeah, let's lawyer. Go to it. Lawyer. You got okay. It. okay, so okay. lawyer. Yeah. There we go. So I mean, absolutely. Can I just say go that ahead. even having an only link in your bio look crazy yeah it'd yeah, be looking crazy not to be like disrespectful it's not you know but it's just people go and click that link because they're like ooh, what they got on there exactly yeah, no that's for. exactly and so just the idea the of stigma it of all, is all right fans. the stigma that's, is that's like what I'm saying. it's different than a movie i don't know why right it's but people are gonna movie. people aren't gonna click that link to watch a daughter's movie if that's she's why an i actress. said no they're gonna click that link because they think she's throwing it back <laughs> right that's why you i know, said like, no to it's that. not so just like you said the stigma of it yeah it's definitely a stigma and uh chat every all the girls answer right okay cool yeah, uh so. one thing chat um and ladies she, oh, you had something no 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 i was like did she answer yeah everyone yeah, everyone answered um it's funny how uh we only had three ladies now three said 
no, full no to it. But then we had four ladies that really didn't give an answer. It was kind of just like, well, she's an adult. You know, she can do what she wants. It's kind of like whatever. And this is why it's so important for children to be raised in a nuclear family with a father around. Because, yeah, um, mothers have that, like, unconditional love almost. It's like, don't matter what you do, I'm going to love you no matter what. The father is still going to love you as well, but it's like, it's not no matter what you do. Like, I'm going to advise my daughter and my son not to do degenerate things that's going to put them in a bad situation, ruin their name, and ruin our family name. So fathers is there to keep their daughters off of stripper poles and their sons out of prison. It's kind of just what it is. Fathers instill certain things into the kids, disciplinarian traits into the kids, so they know, like, right from wrong and, you know, not to really go down certain paths. And also, you got to think about it. Fathers is, fathers is there for mental stability, right? The mother and the father, what do all human beings kind of experience? All human beings, we experience depression is when you're thinking about the past and anxiety is when you're thinking about the future, right? So the mother is always going to love you. Let's say if the kid is doing something like playing basketball, but he misses the game winning shot. The mother's going to be like, baby, I love you. It's okay. No matter what you did, it's okay. I love you. So what that is doing subconsciously to the kid is helping the kid not to fall into depression by thinking about the past. Like, oh, Dan, I had a bad game. Like, Dan, I'm, I'm dwelling on this. But the mother is there to coddle the kid and say, no, baby, I love you despite how you did. Right. The father is there to help the kid not experience anxiety. Anxiety is thinking about the future. The kid would be thinking about, dang, when I go to practice, then the coach going to be doing this or how I'm going to do the next game. The father is there to say, listen, you need to do better, right? And here's what you can do to do better. So the father gives the kid a plan so they don't experience dwelling in the future and having anxiety. Makes sense? So it's like, it's there. A nuclear family, a good father and a good mother is there for the kid's mental health. You know what I'm saying? So like you need it. It's just not even like the finances and stuff. The finances definitely help, but it's like that mental stability. Make sense? All right, cool. Ladies like, all right, nigga, stop preaching. Right. No, right, that, was that was good. That was good. <laughs> hey, you I hope you understood it, but no, it's, 